I want to talk with you today about the two golden rules of cheating at poker. The first is to conform. Conform to the game that you're playing in. If everyone shuffles in the overhand style, you would like to do the same. And if they shuffle on a table, like this, you should do the same as they do. Now, this is all well and good, and with sufficient practice you can control almost any style of shuffle that you want. But what about those so-called uncontrollable variables? What if you come to the game and players turn half the deck face up and then subsequently shuffle this half into the face down half, talking about anaconda, pass the garbage, Alaskan poker. This makes it very hard for even the accomplished cheater because you can't rightfully control cards while they're face up. If a player at the game saw four aces lying right on top of the deck, they would obviously call you on it and you'd be screwed. Now the rules of this game are simple. It's a very basic form of five card draw, but it's completely random as you can see whether the cards are face down or face up, and they're dealt out accordingly, completely at random. Now, whatever card is cut to becomes the first player's whole card, let's say a five of diamonds. Five hands, five card draw, completely random whether the cards are face up or face down. See, we have a five, a six, a joker being a wild card makes this guy's first card the strongest, so he would probably open the betting, and you can see that I happen to have a face down card. Nothing important, just a slight advantage for me. We have a king, a three, a pair of kings here with the joker, so that's definitely the best hand. A two, and I just happen to have face down card. Still not that big of a deal. A six, a pair of sixes here, a jack as a high card, and a three. You can see that I happen to have a, another face down card. We have a four, a king, a nine, four cards to a flush with the joker, and a seven, and you can see that I just happen to have a face down card. A two, a two, this guy makes his flush, that's definitely a great betting hand here with five spades, and a pair of sevens, and you can see that my next card isn't actually face down, my fifth and last card is face up, but that's because there are actually no more face down cards in the deck, even though they were shuffled face up and face down, about 26 and 26. So besides conforming, the second golden rule of poker is to always deal yourself the best hand.